Hello and welcome to the Yarmouth and Thorley Voices Project. Today we're covering transcription, so taking the audio recordings, the interviews, and changing those into text. There are various packages that you can use. The one we've settled on is Express Scribe, as you can see on the screen here, by NCH Software. Again, NCH have been very generous and allow people to use the software for nothing as long as the project isn't a commercial project. And as this is a community project, we fall within the bounds of using the free version. So let's have a look at the layout of the screen. There's the familiar menus that you would see on a Windows package. They've been replicated by the buttons here as well. In this section here is where the audio files go. You can have a number of audio files on the on the go that you are trans transcribing. At the moment, it's just got the welcome video, uh, audio that uh, is given by uh, NCH when you lo load the software. And in the second section down here is the place where you can leave your notes, if you like. You can also use an external word processor. And this is the real advantage of Express Scribe is even though you've got a different application, maybe it be a word processor or just a text editor that you're entering the words into that you're listening to, you can use the audio controls. You see here, play is an F9, stop is F4, rewind, which is the one that probably be used the most, is F7. Those function keys will work even though the Express Scribe isn't the software that is, is at the front if you've got the word processor software at the front. Very unusual to have that and extremely useful. So let's go through the process. First off, we'll load, we'll get the file manager up and we will transfer the audio file. The example that we've got here is Edward Woodward's, Edward Whitewood, excuse me, and drop it on the file names. Let's go back to here and we can see along the bottom here the audio file is loading in. Uh, as before, it depends on this length of the recording and the speed of your machine, depending how quickly the file loads. It also tells you down here what it's doing, loading the audio file. So while this is loading, let me show you around some other stuff. Down in the right bottom here is the ability to change the audio levels. So while you're listening through to it, you might want to have it louder or quieter, depending on what's going on in the background. And underneath that, there is the ability to change the speed. Again, this is uh, unusual. You don't normally have this in audio software, but it can be a massive advantage if your typing speed doesn't match the speed that the person is talking at that you're trying to transcribe. So normally your typing speed is going to be lower than the um, spoken speed of speech if that's not acute, confusing enough, the way the speed the person talks at. So you'd be able to drop it down to 80, 70%. Okay, the people sound strange and unusual when they're talking at that speed, but actually while you're typing, you're pretty grateful that, um, the, um, that you're getting down what they're saying without having to press rewind the whole time. Okay, so the audio is loaded. And we see there's little meters up here showing you how loud stuff is when it's being said. So let's press either F4 on the keyboard or the play button. The project is really to try and, it's quite, quite a bold ambition, but it's to try and capture the memories of Yarmouth. So there you can listen to the beginning of it. Let's use the timeline here. This is... This is the beginning of the recording, this is the end of the recording. In the case of this one, it's uh, roughly uh, an hour's worth of discussion. So let's skip through to maybe something in the middle that we might want to transcribe and have a listen. I'm going to press F4 this time. Nine. And then, um, really, to run the shop, it had to, it had to be run from threshold clickers. We had so let's say that this is the section we want to transcribe by pressing, let's let's do a little rewind. That's called scrubbing, technical term, and so it's just basically, you can hear the audio going backwards to give you an idea of how far back you've gone. Okay, let's go from here. Oh, and, and then, 
um, really to run the shop, it had to it had to be run from Dreshwalk because we had office space there. Yeah. Now, built in to Express Scribe is the ability to take notes. Uh, one advantage of using their notepad is that putting the time code in of what is being said is done for you just through a simple keystroke without you having to write down the time code. So let's rewind slightly. Yeah, I see. It had to be run from really to run the shop. Um, really to run the shop, it had to. Um, so let's go from here. We know that he says we're going to say really he to run the shop. So what we need to do is go to notes, insert, time. That's the time code. So shift, control T. So for the moment, we use the menu option. And you see the time code, which is shown down in this right hand corner here, that's how far we've got through the recording, is automatically inserted in there when we do the shift control T. So let's put a space in and have a listen. Um, really, to run the shop, it had to, it had to be done from threshold because we had office space there. Yeah. So, really, to run the shop, we had to. Okay, that's what I can remember for the moment. So, if we press. I use the F4 for the stop there. F9 is used for play on the top of the function keys, uh, function keys on the top of the keyboard. Yeah, I see. And, and 7 I'm going to use to rewind. It had to be run from threshold because it had to be run from threshold because we had had to it had to um, really to run the shop we had to Okay, so here we go. Really to run the shop we had to it had to be run from threshold because to be run from fresh water. We had office space there. Yeah, I see. So let's just put the end to that. We had office space there. Okay. Now it may, I'll show you the example of the audio running slower. Let's put it down to 75. Now, like I said before, it's going to sound strange, but you'll be grateful for it if you're trying to keep up with what's being said. And, uh, in 69. We've come back quite far there. Um, really to run the shop, it had to, it had to be run from threshold because we had office space there. Yeah, I see. And uh, and then uh, the freshwater shop. I expanded that. I mean, in the in the sixties, it was a, a really good time for the business. I mean, we ran really got some strengths to strength. Um, so you see I was just about keeping up with what was being spoken there um, and there will be um, spelling mistakes you'll need to correct along the way um, as you try and bash the words down as quickly as possible. Um, so so that's using the editor within there and to, to save the file, the editing file within there, you uh, can go into the uh, either clip it to the, the uh, clipboard so that will allow you to save it into your word processor. You can highlight it and say do control A which will select all of your text allowing you to copy with a control C and dropping it into this is a just a normal notepad that comes with Windows. I can paste that in there and you'll see if I change the view to um, word wrap it you'll see the section we've got in there. Let me show you another example of the time code. So let's let's say we're happy with what we've typed there. We jump forward 40 to 40, 53 minutes in. Let's have a listen. In the early 70s. Right. Okay. Well, I'll I'll have a look through. Is that Alison, can... Alison White, Reverend Richard White. I'll have a look through and see if I can yeah. find their entries. Well, Using Shift Control T. There's the time code. Comprehensive, didn't it? So they, so they were nine, I suppose. Okay. 
This is the section where he's talking about the education of his children. So, again, I, as I said before, it sounds strange, but you are grateful for it when you're trying to keep up with what's being said. Right. To the um, West White Middle School, which is yeah. now sort of just back to the normal speed. So that's one option, is to use the uh, editor that's inside Express Scribe. We could go just over to, say, this, this software I've loaded here is the notepad, but it could be a word processor. And we lose the advantage of having the shift control T for the time code, but we can look down in the right hand corner here and type in uh, 5354 and using F4 to stop, F9 to play. Just been so Yeah, yeah. And then um, when they were 13, they went into Newport to carry mm -hmm. And what did they do for, you know? I think let's, let's have another play of that. After school. Rewind. Port to Carriswell High School. Went into New Port to Carriswell High School. Mm -hmm. New Port to Carriswell High School. Mm -hmm. So let's correct the mistakes I made there. And then when they were 14, play again. Um, when they were 13, they went into Newport to Carriswell High School. So, <laughs> I even got that wrong. When they were 13, they went into... You get the idea. I won't transcribe the whole thing live for you. But you get the idea. Again, using the speed control may be useful when using the external editor as it is when using the internal one. F9 to play. Mm -hmm. And what did they do for... As you can see, it does sound strange but useful. Okay, so that's it. And as normally, you'd be going say file, save as, and save your version of the transcription. Um, when you are saving it, I would heavily recommend using the same file name as the audio file. That brings the advantage that those two things are tied together. So when you're going back and trying to find, oh, what does this bit of... I know this is uh, uh, Edward Whitewood, but which audio recording is it connected to? Because, of course, there may be more than one audio recording that you're making notes from. If you use the same file name, then you will have the advantage of having, the, um, having that tie. Straight away, you can see that those two things are tied. When you look at it in the file manager, it will more than likely be next to it, each other. So you see one with a text or the dot doc extension and one with the MP3. OK, well, I hope you found that useful. And um, have a look at the other audio uh, editing video softwares, that we, the audio editing uh, examples uh, we've put together.